Hello, everybody. If you watched my last video, I showed off my little display corner here. New case. I'm slowly putting this room back together after giving it a fresh coat of paint and a new floor. I'm not ready to show off the whole room yet, but I got this corner mostly set, except there's a space here. I could put something there. A great opportunity to reveal my newest uh, piece of art to you. Uh, in the past, you've seen, these are all uh, what are considered mosaic art, where basically I gl glue little squares of paper together so it looks like something. They're cut out of magazines, and it's just, it's a medium I'm comfortable with, and it works for me. So the very first thing I ever did in high school was this Willie Mays. And that went so well, I, 23 years later, I came out of retirement and did this uh, really huge, which I later regretted, uh, piece from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. If you're familiar with that movie, this is the end where they're, um, John Candy and Steve Martin are carrying the trunk down the street. And it's probably my favorite movie. After that, I did my Brooks Robinson, which I've showed many times. And it's actually the background. A print is often the background in some of my card reveal videos because it's just what I have to put up. And then I did, most recently, the Sean Kemp, Rain Man, from the dunk contest in front of the logo. And for my newest thing that's going to go right there, like I said, I decided to combine two things I really love. 1956 tops and one of the players I collect. It's actually the first player collection I ever had, even though I don't have the original cards. That's a whole other story, which I have told before. The greatest. Today I am the greatest. I say he's the greatest every day. Bill James once said, if you break this player into two pieces, you would have two Hall of Famers. And I have to believe that's true. So here we go with my Ricky artwork, inspired by 56 Tops. Um, obviously uh, holding up the base after setting the all-time mark, and then that's taken, for, taken from his uh, 82 Tops card. And I personalized this a little, little bit. This is the exact signature um, I got from him in person, which is on this row somewhere at the National. So I just I put it up with a projector, traced over it. So that's a copy of the signature I got for him. Instead of going with his name and team, I went with the Man of Steel and career total basis. I just uh, thought that was different and, and still, uh, still a cool way to do that. Then I went with block letters here because essentially you know, the artwork is, is blocks. Uh, one thing that varies a little from 56 Tops is that these are both essentially action shots, but it, I think it works for me. There is a border here, which is behind the frame right now. I'm gonna put up a copy of the scan so you can see what it would really look like. And at some point I'm gonna get uh, like prints made of this because this is a 4x scale and if anybody wanted one of those or it might be good for a handout or, or who knows but um, the cool thing with the thing with mosaics is you know the further away you get usually they kind of look a little better because your eye starts taking some of the details and um, blurring them together and it, it tends to take on more of a realistic look and I hope you like that. Um, I think we should get this on the wall right now. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.